Welcome everyone. This practice focuses on the breath, movement and openness as we explore the air element and its benefits to the mind and body. Thank you for joining me on your mat. I am so grateful to be able to guide you through this practice. My name is B. Sherlock. Often we might feel like we're just stuck and there's no momentum, no desire to move, let alone do things with purpose and intention. Perhaps in these moments we need to return to our heart, the energy center of the air element. Using the breath and movement, we can find from within the capacity to open our hearts, create a feeling of expansion and breathe to cultivate a sense of space, stillness. Within this space, we can witness as our minds expand, the creativity bubbles and energy begins to flow within. Use your breath, find your balance and open your heart. Let's meet on the mat. We'll begin the practice with Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing, to calm the mind and soothe and ease the body so we're activating the parasympathetic nervous system, getting ready for our practice ahead. So bring the right thumb to the right nostril, place the forefinger and the middle finger just on the space between the eyebrows and leave the ring finger and the pinky finger free just for now. As we inhale, take a breath from the base of the spine through to the crown, exhale through the left nostril, inhale through the left, release the right nostril, block the left with the ring finger, exhale through the right, inhale, release the left, block the right, exhale, inhale. Equal inhale to equal exhale, unblock the right, exhale, inhale. Release the left, block the right, continue with this practice at your own pace, just finding your own cadence using the equal inhale with equal exhale. I'll let you know when it's time to release the breath. Maybe close down the eyes, allow the gaze to turn inward and really focus on the breath. Last full round here. Release the hand to the knee. Just sit up tall and allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. And simply observe. Observe the body and how it feels. Maybe it's a little more relaxed, more open. And just witness the mind. Perhaps your thoughts are a little calmer now. Gently flutter the eyes open. Roll over the knees, come to find child's pose. 
We'll begin straight away with some dynamic movement. So take an exhale here as the navel draws to the spine. And on the inhale, rise to all fours, lower the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, tuck the toes, switch the tail to the sky, downward facing dog, Ardha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, lower the knees, all fours, lower the belly. Exhale, back to the heels, coming into child's. Inhale, rise up onto the knees, sweep the arms overhead. Good, exhale, hinging at the hips, bring the knees back to the heels, coming to child's pose. Inhale, slow, melodic breaths, coming into all fours, cow. Exhale, tucking the toes, sweeping the tail to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, using the whole breath to lower the knees to the mat. Exhale, using all of the breath to take the heel, hips to the heels, coming into child's. Inhale from the base of the spine as the breath rises into the collarbone, rising up onto the knees, sweeping the arms overhead. Exhale, hinging at the hips, coming back into child's pose. Last round. Inhale, all fours, cow, lower the belly. Exhale, tucking the toes, sweeping the tail to the sky. Inhale, knees to the mat, coming into cow. Lift the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, hips to heels. Inhale, rising to the knees as the breath sends into the collarbone. Exhale, hinging at the hips, drawing the hips to the heels. Coming back to child's pose. Rising up to all fours now. Just bring the hips over the knees. Nice, sturdy tabletop. And just gently walk the hands toward the top of the mat, opening the heart to the earth. So we're coming into puppy pose. You can have your forehead on the mat here. Just drawing the shoulder blades toward each other. If you want to take it a little bit further, Lift the chin and bring the gaze to the top of the mat. We'll be here for three breaths. Inhale, breath rises from the seat into the heart. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Gently walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes, sweep the tail to the sky. Ardha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Internally rotate the elbows toward each other, opening up through the collarbone, drawing the chest toward the thighs. Tail is up and back. So we've got that nice long spine from the base of the spine along the back of the neck to the crown. So the gaze is toward the back of the mat. If it's in your practice, just gently draw the heels toward the mat. Doesn't matter if they don't touch. And just take one full breath here in the full expression of the pose. So inhale, breath rises from the seat along the back body. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Inhale, gazes to the top of the mat. Gently walk the feet to meet the hands. Fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Beautiful. Inhale, lower the hands. Sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Thumbs point back, shoulder blades melt down the back, knit the ribs, tuck the tail. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward, Uttanasana. 
Inhale, hands to shins. Find a flat back, tail to the crown. Exhale with control, step the right foot back coming into lunge. Sole of the rear foot's perpendicular with the floor, engage the back leg. Nice, sturdy foundation. Inhale, breath rises from the seat as you sweep the arms overhead coming into crescent. Exhale, frame the front foot, step back into plank, whole body activation. Option to lower down here, knees, chest, chin, or draw the elbows to the side body, lower halfway, chaturanga. Come to the tops of the feet. Inhale, push the hands, push into the hands, coming to upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, sweep the tail to the sky. Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to chest, step the foot between the hands, coming into lunge. Building our foundation here, inhale. Sweep the arms forward, frame the face, rise into crescent. Beautiful. Finding some strength in our back leg, shifting the weight to the front. So push off the back foot, shift the weight into the front knee, find your balance, bring the left knee to the chest. Cactus the arms, open the chest. Inhale and exhale. Inhale now, bring the left ankle to the right knee. Bend into the, the right knee, sweep the arms to the back. Good. Take an inhale, lift the left knee, sweep the leg to the back, Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Finding our balance here as we use the breath to find strength as well. Ask yourself here, are you holding your breath? Use the breath to find the balance in the body. Find the energetic harmony. Beautiful. Inhale, bring the left foot to meet the right. Sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Interlace the hands behind the back. Open up through the chest. Just take a few breaths here. Allow the head and neck to hang. Inhale, release the hands, bring them to the shins, find a flat back. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, hands to heart center, Samastiti. Lower the hands, inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to shins, find a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, with control, step the left foot back, coming into lunge. Building our foundation, so heel of the rear foot is over the toes, engage the back leg. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, frame the face, rise into crescent. Exhale, framing the front foot, step back into plank, whole body activation. Take an inhale. Draw the elbows to the side body. Exhale, lower down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, push through the hands. Upward facing dog, thighs are away from the mat. Inhale, tuck the toes. Sweep the tail to the sky, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, sweep the left leg to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to the chest, step the foot between the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, uh, coming into crescent lunge. Good. Using the breath here, become more aware of the body and its limits. As we push off the back foot, shift the weight into the front, bring the knee to the chest. 
Good, cactus the arms, open up through the heart. Inhale and exhale. Inhale now, bring the right ankle to the left knee, bend into the left knee. Sweep the arms down and back. Inhale, breath rises from the seat. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Inhale, lift the right knee. Sweep it to the back. Send the fingertips toward the back of the mat. Virabhadrasana three. Use the breath to create space. Find your balance. Exhale, navel draws to spine as we find that strength. One more breath. Inhale, release the right foot to the mat, sweep the arms overhead, Ojrasthasana. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding forward, Uttanasana. Interlace the fingers, allow the head and neck to hang. Open up through the chest. Just taking a few breaths here. Inhale now, hands to shins, find a flat back. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, hands to heart centre, Samastiti. Lower the hands, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, folding forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, hands to shins, find a flat back. Exhale, frame the front feet, step back, downward facing dog. Just taking a moment here. Allowing the body to reset. Inhale, lower the knees to the mat. Rise up onto the heels, keep the toes tucked. We're going to do Ustrasana here, camel pose. So we've got a couple of options. So we have our knees about hips width apart with our toes tucked. Bring the hands to the low back. Lift up through the chest, lift the chin. So imagine you've got your thumbs underneath your armpits and you're lifting up the chest and the torso. That helps us find that lift. If you want to go a little bit further, Push through the hips just ever so slightly to reach them forward and lift the chest a little more, finding it a bit more of a back bend. Inhale, breath rises along the front body into the collarbone, opening up through the heart. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Good. If you want to go a little bit further, bring the right hand to the right heel, fingertips on the inside of the foot. And gently lower the left to the left heel. Making sure to keep our head and neck up. We don't want to release the neck. Making sure that we're protecting our cervical spine. Inhale, breath rises from the seat along the front body as we lift up through the chest. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Good. Gaze is up, jawline is drawn slightly back. And just witness as the breath creates space. And in that space, perhaps we can find it within to breathe through any limitations. One more breath. Beautiful. Bring the left hand to the back. Bring the right hand to meet. Lift up through the spine. 
excellent. Exhale, untuck the toes, draw the hips to the heels. And just rest here for one full breath. Notice how the breath creates space. And with that breath comes an expansion of the body, an openness of the mind. Beautiful. Draw the hips to either side of the heels. Bring the legs out in front. Draw the sole of the right foot to the outside of the left thigh. And you can remain here if this is enough for you. If you wanna go a little bit further, bend the left knee, bring the heel to the glute, making sure that our sit bones are grounded. Inhale, lift up through the spine as we find length. Exhale, hug the right leg with the left arm and bring the right hand to the mat behind you. Inhale, find length and create space. Exhale, perhaps you twist a little further into the twist. Maybe you close down the eyes, finding a little bit of stillness. On the next inhale, unravel from the twist. Swap the legs over. So bring the sole of the left foot to the outside of the right thigh. Keep that leg, right leg extended if you wish. If you want to go that little bit further, bending the right leg, bringing the right heel to the left glutes, squaring off the hips, both sit bones grounded. Inhale, find length through the spine. Hug the left leg with the right arm. Bring the left hand to the mat behind you. Find that nice long spine on the inhale. And on the exhale, perhaps you deepen a little further into the twist. Gaze can be to the side of the mat or over the back, over the rear shoulder. Just go to where your neck allows. Making sure that our spine is long. So if we're kind of hunching to make the twist happen, just unravel from the twist until the back becomes straight again and that will be your limit. Perhaps on the exhale, you can find a little bit more space to go a little deeper. Inhale, breath rises from the seat through the twist into the collarbone. Exhale, open your heart and Receive the love and inspiration. Beautiful. Gently unravel from the twist. Extend the legs out long. Come to find a supine position. Bring the soles of the feet to the mat. I'm just gonna do a baby bridge here just for three breaths. So pushing into the soles of the feet, gently engage the glutes so we're not completely clenching the glutes. We wanna use the front body to lift the hips. So we're lifting the hips. Gently tuck the shoulders underneath the chest as you interlace the fingers. Inhale, lifting the hips, finding the breath as it travels along the front body into the chest, into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Just using the breath as we open the heart, we open the front line of the body. One more breath here. Beautiful. Release the fingers. Gently lower the hips to the mat. 
keeping the knees bent here. Just bring them out to the sides of the mat. Cactus the arms and on the exhale, release the legs to the knees to the left side of the mat. Gaze can come over to the right hand. Good, inhale coming back to center. Exhale, release the knees to the, to the right. Gaze is over to the left. Inhale, breath rises from the seat. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Inhale, back to center. Let's do that a couple more times. Exhale, release to the left. Finding that last little bit of movement. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, releasing the knees to the right, gazes to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, returning to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, back to center. This time, as we exhale, releasing the knees to the left, you can remain here just for a few breaths. If you want to deepen into the twist, just bring the left ankle to the top of the right knee. Just a little bit of a self assist here, a nice little self adjustment, helping you to deepen into the stretch along the right side body. So maybe you're feeling it through the right hip flexors. Use the breath to create that space. In that space, perhaps you find some stillness in that silence. If you've got the left foot on the right, just release that. Inhale, coming back to center, nice and slowly. Exhale, release the knees to the right. Gaze is over to the left. If you wanna go that little bit further, bringing the right ankle on top of the left knee, breathing into that stretch through the left hip flexors, through the left side body. Again, using the breath to create space as it rises from the base through the twist into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Release the right foot from on top of the left. Inhale, coming back to center. Just draw the knees to the chest. Gently rock from side to side. Maybe you make some circles with the knees, just giving the low back a nice massage. Turn in the other direction. Extend the legs out long. Allow the feet to fall to the sides of the mat. And bring the arms slightly away from the body. Palms are facing up. Gently tuck the shoulders underneath the chest. Tilt the chin away from the chest to encourage the natural curve of the spine. Gently release any tension in the jaw. Let go of any furrow in the brow. And if you haven't already, close down the eyes. Witness the natural rhythm of the breath. It's peaceful inflow. 
coming out through. Notice as the breath creates space within the body. And within that space, find the openness to offer and receive love and inspiration. Maybe in that space you find silence. Surrender into the comfort of that silence. Find solace with the breath. Bring your awareness back to the breath. Notice as the body expands on the inhale and softens on the exhale. If you have a little more time up your sleeve, I encourage you to pause the video here and extend your Shavasana for as long as you are able. If you need to come out of the practice, let's find some movement in our fingers and toes. Gently rock the head and neck from side to side. And when you're ready, roll to your most comfortable side and just Briefly observe. Push through your free hand. Come to find a comfortable seat. Eyes can remain closed. Both sit bones are grounded. And we're reaching up nice and tall through the crown of the head. Using the breath to find that space and expansion throughout the body can help us tap into that cultivation of creativity and inspiration and opening our heart. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Bring the palms to meet. Exhale, draw the hands to heart center. Take with you the ability to use the breath to open the heart, create space in the body and the mind. The light in me sees and honours the light in you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for your practice today. I am super grateful um, that you showed up for yourself on the mat today. If you found some value in this video, please hit the like button, uh, share it with anyone you think might benefit from this practice, 
leave a comment for me. Let me know how this practice made you feel. What was the uh, key moment for you? If you're new here, please, I would love it if you subscribed and hit the notification bell um, so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads. As always, keep making magic in your world, from your space, at your own pace. Namaste.